Marketing data analysts help marketing teams run more effectively and use their budgets and resources more efficiently. They can help teams look at things like different lead sources, how much those different leads may be costing based on how they're acquired, what that might turn into in terms of sales, and then how does that factor in to best utilizing the overall budget and manpower available to the team. I'm Jen and I demystify analytic skills and careers. Let's dive a little more deeply into answering what does a marketing data analyst do. We'll look at some of their common job description, their duties, the key skills that these marketing data analysts need, and finally looking at the education and work background that you might need to break into this field. First, common duties of a marketing data analyst. Like of most other analytics roles, this can vary from job to job or company to company, but as with other roles, there are a lot of similarities. So most often someone in a marketing data analyst role is going to be responsible for subject matter knowledge of the marketing function and using that information to help analyze different points of data and make better, more informed decisions in the team. This can take on a wide variety of different specific looks. So marketing data analysts may work within a company, especially a corporation, or they might work for a consulting house where they're working on things for outside clients. Some Sometimes in smaller organizations, marketing data analyst job duties tie in with other marketing duties. So it's not a completely standalone role. Regardless, when you're looking at the analytics duties of a marketing data analyst, they're going to be a bit specific to the different types of marketing a company may do. Some marketing data analysts need to have a strong knowledge of social media analytics. So understanding how different leads are acquired, what different metrics they there are and which of those metrics are meaningful to the organization. Other skills involve website analytics. So looking at how much time do people spend on each page? How are people landing on those different pages? And at a deeper level, how much time are people spending at different points within a page? So it gets a lot more sophisticated than just did they come to this web page, but are they scrolling through it? Are they stopping and resting on a particular section? How much time are they spending? there? Where do they go once they land on that page or finish with that page? Do they just leave the website altogether? Do they go to a different spot? Maybe do they end up purchasing something based on being in that location? All of these and many, many more metrics exist out there when we talk about more of the, the social web presence. But marketing analytics isn't just about web presence because it's not the only way people buy. And this is especially true depending on what type of product you're selling. So if I'm a company selling direct to consumer, maybe I'm more concerned about what my web presence is like, my social stats. But if I'm a, a company that's selling more B2B, business to business, then maybe that isn't quite as critical or maybe it's a piece of it, but I also have sales reps that are going out and making some of the sales, building client relationships with those bigger clients that are leading to eventual sales. So it's very dependent on the organization, but conceptually you're still working on the same thing. You want to know how are people coming to your product or service? How much are they spending? Where are they going? What's the different customer journeys they may take? All of these are valuable pieces of information that a marketing data analyst can analyze and provide back to the business for better decision making. All of that falls under the umbrella of analyzing marketing data. And marketing data analysts that are maybe more sophisticated in the analytics side of things or working for companies that are more sophisticated in their marketing efforts might also do analysis that's more in the data science direction. They might do more cluster analysis or nearest neighbor looking for similarities of how to sell to different customers or what customers are likely to respond to? What similar profiles do people have? All of this goes into the next major category, which is advising the marketing teams. So what is the performance like? Based on what they're seeing, what are they recommending? Could be done the same as we've been doing or differently than what we've been doing so that the marketing efforts pay off. This advisory role can vary again from company to company. And sometimes people are executing 
creating their own marketing analytics and then turning around and using those. This could be the case at a smaller organization or somebody that's running different web campaigns, that's doing comparison analysis of those, that's looking at performance of different campaigns to look at the effectiveness and the conversion rates for whatever they're measuring. Because not every conversion is focused on a sale. Sometimes it's brand awareness. Sometimes it's getting people to interact with the brand. There are steps before it actually turns into a sale. For marketing data analysts that are working at a consulting agency or maybe that play a more active role, they're also going to be cultivating and maintaining client relationships. Again, this can look different from role to role, but as someone that's working in a very specialty niche area of analytics, it's valuable to be really tied in with your clients, whether that's an external client or it's an internal, it's someone else in the marketing team that's a client of the data that you're working with. Maintaining those relationships, understanding what the needs and the challenges are makes you a much more effective marketing data analyst. Because marketing data analysts are so close to the data and understanding what's going on and where the biggest value is, they also have the opportunity to influence marketing budgets. Maybe they impact the overall budget or maybe they impact what the different split of that budget is. Where does the company spend the most money? Where should they spend the most money to get the highest payoff for that cost. Sometimes there are strategic relationships to maintain and it's not always about the most efficient use of resources, but often there is a lot of value in looking at what is the customer actually buying? How much revenue is the company getting? Because sometimes those aren't the same question to answer. Sometimes companies might be getting different discounts. And so just because one company is buying more overall dollar value doesn't mean that's actually higher revenue for the company. All of these things are pieces of information a marketing data analyst may analyze to help influence the overall budget and strategy of the marketing team. Let's talk about marketing data analyst key skills. We've already touched heavily on the analytic skills and this again is going to depend from company to company or role to role, but typically if this is a more analyst focused role, people are going to have knowledge of a programming language like SQL, Python, R, R, SAS, or a no-code, low-code tool, like a data visualization tool, a Power BI, Tableau, Alteryx, something similar along those lines. It's typical though within especially smaller marketing organizations that a marketing data analyst should have knowledge of a lot of the common web tools. So things like Google Analytics or Google Ads that are really heavily used throughout most metrics that people track. There are certainly other tools out there that people can know, but these are very, prevalent in the marketplace and having knowledge of those can also help people when they're analyzing data because they understand kind of the front end of what's going on. Communication skills are important in this type of role because again what you're doing is going to impact how the marketing team functions, where they focus their efforts, how they focus their budgets, and so being able to communicate your findings, your assumptions, why people should care is an important part of the job. When it comes to a marketing data analyst education and experience, this can vary a bit from person to person, again, depending on what the role is like. So for some people, they come from a background in marketing. They have a degree in marketing or business. Others come from a more technical background. They maybe have a math or stats background. Possibly they, they have an analytics specific degree. Again, a lot of this depends on the company, the role, and how mature the organization is, what they're looking for. There are a vast variety of opportunities to get into a marketing data analyst role if you're coming from a background in marketing where you understand the subject knowledge. If you have some amount of technical knowledge or the ability to build those technical and statistical skills, then having that subject matter knowledge can put you at a huge advantage when it comes to getting into a marketing data analyst role. That about summarizes a lot of the high level job duties, key skills, experience, education, that a marketing data analyst will have. But again, as I've said many times throughout this video, this varies widely company to company and role to role. So if it's something you're 
you're interested in, there's a good chance you can build the experience, the education necessary to be able to switch into a marketing data analyst role. And from there, you have a lot of opportunity to move different directions, depending on if you want to be more business oriented, more marketing focused, maybe building up, working in other functions within that marketing team, or maybe you want to go more analytics heavy. You want to build those technical skills and switch to a different area of expertise. There's a very wide open career path opportunity or career paths opportunity because there's not just one for people that get into a marketing data analyst role. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe for more information on analytics and analytics careers.